Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Adesua Iwa Osage. And good afternoon, everyone. Today I am here with Buba Galadima. Um, he is one of the founding members of the CPC, currently a chieftain of the ANPP, one time spokesman for the PDP, and former director general of the Nigerian Maritime Authority, which is now NIMASA. Is that correct? Yes. But I've, I feel like I've missed a lot in between there because you also were part of the Constitutional Conference and you have been involved in politics in Nigeria since when? 1978. Since 1978. <laughs> okay, that's a very long time. So would you please like tell us a little bit about yourself? You were born in Yobe, right? Um, what year? Because you told me once there's a bit of a... <laughs> discrepancy of birth dates. Well, uh, thank you very much uh, for inviting me onto this program. Uh, I'm highly delighted to sit and discuss with professionals like you in the uh, media. Uh, about myself, um, I, I had gone through many rough uh, road in life, but I would want to say that I thank God uh, I have not done badly. I'm one of those God chosen and favored people. I was three times nominated and elected to be a member of uh, Constituent Assembly in 1987. Mm -hmm. I was uh, elected to be a member of the Constitutional Conference in 1994. I was also part of the 2004 national conference that was convened by Jonathan. Mm. Uh, I held several positions in life. One of which was, I was director of Federal Polytechnic uh, Movie. I was chairman, Nigeria Ranches Limited, uh, a joint project of about 500 million US dollars between Nigeria and uh, Brazil to develop the cattle ranching uh, in Nigeria. I was also a director of Delta Steel Company for two years. I was a director of, uh, of uh, Ajakuta Steel Company uh, for two years. I had been director of two banks. I was also a director of an insurance company, uh, General Assurance and what do you call it, company for about seven uh, years. Of course, you also said and confirmed that I was director general of the National Maritime Authority. Yes. Uh, one thing, uh, I was one of the most investigated public servants in this country. Mm -hmm. When I left, when a butcher died, and uh, Abdul Salam came in, I had a problem, which was a subject of discussion at the Opit Oputa panel. You know Hope Uzodima now, mm. the present governor of Imo State, mm. single-handedly removed me as director general of the National Maritime Authority. Single-handedly. Because of reasons that I would want journalists to ask him so that when he says, I will come back on the stream to reply him. So you want Hope Uzodima... Hope Uzodima to answer why he single-handedly removed you yes. as the DG of the Nigerian Maritime yeah. Authority. Yes, and this issue was uh, was an issue before the Oputa panel, discussed by General Sabo, mm. the Director of Military Intelligence, mm. and Hamza Al-Mustafa, the Chief Security Officer, mm. to General Abacha. Sani Abacha. But to cut a long story short, even after I left, there was nothing Kema Chukwe, as Minister of Transport, did not do on earth falsehood, truth, to nail me, mm. such that courageous and honest people like me will never hold public office. 
I was investigated eight times by the Obasanjo government. Eight times. What put paid to the whole investigation was when a gentleman, one of the very few elder statesmen of this country, uh, Dr. Christopher Kualade, was asked to investigate certain situations during a Bacchus government. Mm. And in his submission, he's alive, get the documents from him for posterity, he wrote that I should be reinstated, even though Obasanjo personally wanted me nailed because of my proximity to General Abacha. How did you become proximate to General Abacha? Uh, because Abacha knew me, we were the three musketeers, uh, northerners in Port Harcourt. General Zamani Lekot was the military governor mm. of uh, River State. General Sani Abacha was the brigade uh, commander then in River State throughout those years that I was there. Yeah. And I was the man that controlled the, 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 the uh, hold the cow's horn for people to milk because that time, there was no agency of government mm. in the whole of River State or ministry that has got the kind of funds under their control as I did. And I was investigated. I was set up severally by government and they never found me wanting. So when the position of the Director General of the National Maritime Authority became vacant, Abacha said he was looking for an honest, upright, hardworking person. Mm. And he could not look further than myself. And uh, this is why I had a tortuous tenure because I was hated by the minister who wanted me, who wanted to do certain things that I will never do and wrote secret memos to General Abacha to remove me. Abacha still refused. It's a long story that will take me years to narrate. I had guns on my head. After all, you should know that Obasanjo put me underground four floors in Park Lane Number One, Lagos, Franco Menka's dungeon. You went to Franco Menka's dungeon. <laughs> I was, I was, I was the prefect there. So what year was this? Chained me, 2004, because mm. I organized what you call stolen mandate against uh, against the 2000. And three election. election. And there we I invited, I was the chairman mm. of the organizing committee. I invited uh, General Buhari. Mm. I invited Chukumeka uh, Odumegu uh, Ojuku. I invited Chukolo Falae. Uh, we invited Laj Balarebe Musa. We invited Dr. Tunji Breathwaite. And a host of uh, 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 progressive leaders, not progressive by name, for, uh, by our own assessment that time, we were leaders of the opposition. And they were all in town. So they just picked me that night. The present senator uh, representing Lawrence Central, Salisu Mustafa, uh, Mustafa Salu, will tell you better when you invite, when you speak to him. Was he we there were, when they picked you, or you were there? He was together? there. He was there. He was there when the SSS picked me, mm. and they, 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 they locked me up in Comunicado, and in the in the in the guest house they kept me. There were over fifty armed uh, uh, plain cloth uh, policemen, and they chained me. Look, when they they interrogated me for 72 hours without a break. You will be wondering, how can a human being be interrogated for 72 hours? Mm -hmm. I will tell you. They had three teams of investigators. Three teams. These ones will come for eight hours. I will be dozing. They will be asking questions. Immediately, they finish their eight hours as if they are going and I, I should be allowed to rest. As they were going, other people were coming in and they will continue. For 72 hours, they didn't give me a sleep. Just to break my resolve. Unfortunately for them, they were not able to do that. And uh, they now said, uh, because they asked me one question, inadvertently or deliberately, mm. 
they asked me then al mustafa was being tried for treason that he was organizing a coup yes from the prison so they 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 asked they asked me whether i knew al mustafa been the honest person i am forthright i said yes we are from the same place because he comes from unguru while i come from gashua only 65 kilometers separate us mm -hmm. and we see ourselves as the same people said okay since i know al mustafa i am i am a party to that coup mm -hmm. so myself general adeka uh, and uh, several military people 39 of us were ar arrested 38 of the 39 were all northerners that's how they i got myself into that franco makers dengue and the world should know how i left that cell the germans the germans and the eu put a pressure on Obasanjo's government and said, I am a political prisoner. Mm. That what they were doing to me is political vendetta. And they put that pressure. But I would remember the last time I met the military tribunal. They set up a tribunal of 10 generals and two uh, other members. Late uh, Labara Murno was DIG. Uh, and uh, I don't know whether... Dabo Galadima is still alive from Plato. He was director of SSS in Lagos. They were members of the panel. When they brought me in chains and put me in front of them, I, I, I started looking at them because they had the U shape like this. So I started looking at Labara Murno, who was a DIG. I put my eyes straight on him. After some few seconds, he had, to, he had to put off his head because I thought in his mind, because I knew him, we knew each other, we stayed in the same area in my degree when he was inspector of police, mm. 1978. So or you were So he just did like this because he thought that I will, I will call his name. I didn't, but I was using psychology. So I look at every one, each of them, I look at you straight into your eye. You have to blink. You have to blink, including the major general who was chairman of that tribunal, somebody from Bendel. What year was this? 2004. 2004. So, 19 years. Mm. So I followed this all. I, by that look alone, I knew that I have disarmed them. So, but the last time, which I would want to say, no, I, I have to go back to something. Each time they bring me from the, from the dungeon inside, because I, I wouldn't know the day or night or which day, Sunday, Friday, or I wouldn't know. It's blank. And they give me, they give me bottle to urinate inside. They give me some pop to, 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 to pass if I want to go to the toilet. And nobody is allowed to say a word to me for all the time that I stayed in that hall. The solitary? More than solitary confinement. Mm. You remember that four floors down. And this is an Ikoi. Ikoi number one park lane. It's there up to now. That's where they carry people they don't want. Mm. Up to now. People, a lot of people died there without notice. I believe Abbasanjo was also held there during Abacha's No, Abbasanjo was taken to Gashua, my place. Before he was he... eating fish. No, no, no before uh, then, they held him in the Kui. No, 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 no. They no, did, no. they did. Well, it's okay. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> so, is it turn by turn? No. Is that why you guys... <laughs> was it, you no, know, you he know, was you held? Know, you know, you know, you know, this one, one mm. of the... One of, when I see people in power, yes, they do certain things. Mm. I just laugh. I just laugh. Right. Because... They don't know that no condition is permanent. Mm. What they are doing to others now, when they are in power, will happen to them. Will definitely, I'm telling you, we've told Buhari people, we've told Jonathan people, 
We've told the vast of people, where are they? So, if you find yourself in a position of authority, try to do what is right. Mm. So that, look at, look at me. I was never a minister. Even counselor, I was never. I never held public office to amass wealth. Look at, when you want to do this interview, we don't even know where, where to Im Im improvise. I live in a two-bedroom house for the last 30-something years. You don't even know whether I rent it. Even the uncle said it's my own. I said, no, it's not my own. It belongs to my friend. We are still in court. Even when the courts gave the owners the house, they still don't believe it. Mm. I don't have. Because I didn't steal. Whatever is the case, let me land on that issue. The last day we sat was, I was brought in 9 o'clock in the morning. Mm. And I was under interrogation, not interrogation, uh, trial by the military tribunal up to 9 o'clock in the night. 12 good hours. We had only one hour break. I keep wondering, if now they arrest me and put me in such a situation as an old man, I would want to go in peace. That time, I can stay for 12 hours without feeling any thing. But now I keep on imagining that I'm still an activist. If I find myself in such a situation, how do I manage? Mm. So when they finished, I, I raised my, I, my, my two hands because I have to do like this. I'm chained like this, yeah. chained like this with crossbar. Mm. And I sat on a chair, single chair like this. So I, I said I want to speak. The president of the tribunal, one, some, one military officer from Bendel, a very useless, unintelligent person. I, I, you don't recall his name? No, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I know. It. Let him listen to me. <laughs> I, I dealt with some of them. Corbeni, we had a skirmish with him, mm. FBI Corbeni. Mm. Uh, he went and stole a lot of money. He gave a lady, and the lady ran away to America. He married the little girl and uh, said that uh, he infected her with gonorrhea. He can't go to U.S. He had his own problem now. This is poor Benny from Bielsa. But, but yes, a very corrupt person. He was the one that, together with the, with the what do you call him? Uh, together with the Hobo Zodima wanted, uh, removed me. Hobo Zodima removed you in what capacity? What? As a businessman. He was a businessman. Mm. And acting, acting on behalf of others. I see. And he removed you from... Because I, I, I refused to give him money. 5.7 billion. I had. I said, let them write a letter authorizing me to do. Mm. I refused. This Is was, there? This was in 96. No. 98. 98. 98. Yes. Mm. So, that's not the issue. Let me go back to that. I asked... The military, the, the, the president of the tribunal asked me, so, okay, Mr. Galadima, what do you want to say? I said, sir, you know, all this you are doing, you wanted to link me to this coup. Yeah. And you also wanted to find out whether General Buhari was the one that was instigating me. From the SSS investigation, up to this tribunal. All of them wrapped attention. You cannot find any of the two. I don't do anything on the instance of another person. Whatever I do, I do it because I'm convinced that what I am doing is correct and right. So Buhari, take him up. If you want to arrest him for a coup, go and find other sources. Buhari had nothing to do with that coup. Although Safa claims it was a phantom coup. Eh? No, listen. The second is that you wanted to find out whether I was part of this coup that is being investigated. Mm. I am not. Since I am not, there is nothing you can do for the three days that you are trying me. You've not found a grain of evidence 
that are part and parcel of it. So you will you are under obligation to release me. Under obligation to release me. There is nothing we can do. And did they release you? Yeah? They released you. Listen. So the man said, he just banged the table. He said, look, we are not here for politics. We are not this. We are not that. Then General Lemu of blessed memory cut in and said, look, sir, this is a life and death matter. The man should be allowed to speak his mind. Then there was a clash within the tribunal. There were four Southerners. There, there, I mean, there were five Southerners mm. and seven Northerners. So it became a North and South issue. Oh, I was shocked in a tribunal that was set up by government. That is how I think, I don't know what happened. One day I was just inside. So General A.T. Jibrin, the, the, the man in charge of the military, Dangion, he's still around. In fact, I, I learned he was supposed to be made a minister. I don't know what, what transpired now. <laughs> Very fine, handsome, military, uh, intelligent military officer. He's an into officer. From where? Well, originally from Kano, mm -hmm. but he was born and brought up in Plateau. Okay. So, if the man wanted to help me, what he will do is that when he comes in the morning, he will ask them to pull me out of the dungeon and bring me to his office and I sit. When he's going home, they carry me and put inside the pit, and he goes home. At least I will never forget this. I've been looking for him since I left that place to thank him. I had not seen him. And one thing again that Nigerians need to know, the issue, the issue about us is not religion, it's not tribe. There were two young officers who come to pick me every morning. And I can say this because I'm sure they left the army by now. Young officers, two of them. There is a Land Rover full of soldiers in front, 505 in the middle, and two pickups full of soldiers. And with siren, they take me like governor <laughs> to the tribunal venue. <laughs> Each time they bring me out, they will ask all the soldiers, uh, rank and file, to move away. Yeah. And they tell me, sir, they have not yet found anything against you. They are trying to use you to give yourself up. Mm. So be strong. Keep on to what is right. We know that they are only, they are only uh, doing this for political reasons. Mm. Those two young officers, captains, two of them, none young? of them is a Muslim. Mm. And they had, they had that passion of patriotism and justice in them. So when you sit down in the office and giving instructions, you wouldn't know what happens outside with those that give the instruction. Mm. If I tell you that if I want to know anything that is happening in the villa, I will know. I had done that since. That's why when I speak, people, the, those in power who knew what I was talking about, they are, they are shivering. How did I know? But that's why SSS has picked you up multiple times. 38 times. SSS has picked you up 38 times. Yes. I thought it was multiple times, but 38 times. Yes. SSS, police, they, mm. they, they interrogate me, they question me, they did this, they have 38 times. So, so this is life. Mm. I've gone through it. And uh, it is important for you young people uh, to understand something. That no condition is permanent. And you should not be in a hurry. At this age, if you like, you can call me, I'm 71. If you don't want, you can say I'm 75 <laughs> when you add those four years. Yes. It doesn't matter what. <laughs> I am still 
healthier than all my classmates that held the public position, made a lot of money <laughs> in life. They don't, they, they don't have the kind of peace that I have. This is your second time of coming to this house. Mm -hmm. You've seen how still people revive me, how they come in and go out. There is no house in the whole of Abuja where people drive in and out like this house. And I have nothing to give. Sometimes I hardly feed. But you give people free food. People in there that just... God know. brings the free food. Mm. Like you now, if you are going, you have to drop. <laughs> ah, you think I'll just talk like this and you go away. No. So, this life is very easy. Mm. And people should take it easy. Oh! We will take away this man's victory by force because we are in power. <laughs> ah, I just laugh when I hear it. You can do it. But that is temporary. Mm. Like what is happening with our neighbors here in Niger. I just pray for this government that if they start the war, which they want to do by all means, they are forced, they are forced to do. This war should not last more than three days. If the war lasts three days and extends to one month, only God knows either mutiny happens in the army or a revolt will happen within Nigeria. So if they want to be swift, three days is the maximum time they will stay. Once they don't do that. But they should ask themselves, how did the overthrown government itself come to power? Did they remember that the Buhari government forced this government on the people of Niger? Went out of seven, uh, six, uh, eight regions in Niger. The man overthrown won only in one region. Mm -hmm. And then when this was happening, the day this government was announced they won election, I said on BBC, Radio France International, and... Uh, and uh, Deutsche Welle, that this government will not last because they will come the way, uh, they will go the way they came. Mm -hmm. And I gave them two and a half years. I'm afraid to talk sometimes because 99% of what I politically say had been correct. So I want to ask about your relationship with Mama Dubari. We are the best of friends now. You are still the best of friends. Of course, why not? He but, thought he thought I will die. Hmm? If he thought maybe I will die if I'm, I didn't get position, I'm looking healthier than him, and I have more respect than him. If anybody denies respect, I have. Mm. Let's attend a public function with a public officer mm. and me, a proletariat, a common person, and see who do people gather around and joke with and talk mm -hmm. without me giving penny, without me, without them knowing what I have to give. Mm -hmm. Nothing. You said that Buhari set Nigeria back a hundred years. Yes. This was somebody who was your best friend. You were picked up at least, you were picked up multiple times because you were supporting him both publicly and in your personal capacity. And then, as you said, no condition is permanent because if I remember, you switched to the PDP, joined the Atiku team, and in 2019, Buhari's I SSS. I didn't. I didn't. You didn't switch? No. But they picked you up? Yeah. Uh, they wanted to pick me up. They didn't pick you up? They didn't get me. It was misreported? No. Because, you know, there was a... When you tweeted, there is a difference between picking me, mm. detaining me, mm. or having me. Okay. You must have made an attempt. But you didn't see me, or you didn't get me. So what and about what 2019? No, because I saw their moves and I was alerted. Mm -hmm. So I left the house, leaving all my phones. Because if I have my phones on me, and people should know that if you commit an offense, don't go with the known telephone <laughs> on your body. Because they will zero on you, wherever you are. Yeah. So I left. 
I so, was told, and I saw the movement. I know when they want to pick me each time. I know what they do. Mm. So I'm an experienced person in that. You're an experienced political detainee. One. <laughs> well, so the, now the sto- the article story. Mm. You know, we we formed a splinter group. We left the APC and formed a splinter group called Reformed APC, RAPC. Mm. And I was made the chairman. That group included uh, 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 Senate President. That group included Which the one, Speaker Saraki? of the House, Saraki, yes. Tamwal, Konkoso, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, about five governors also. Yes. From the... So we formed the RAPC. And uh, this wisdom came mm. when elections was getting near. Where to align? Do we still work for APC or we work for PDP? And we entered into an agreement, an alliance with the with the PDP. With the PDP. Yeah. So they found it expedient to give me a role, and the role is to present their face. If I become a spokesman. It will be the face of the RAPC. Mm. That is how we fought the election. And uh, we fought that election. And up to now, I believed that Atiku won that election. It was denied him. And you, you can never tell. Atiku should also search himself mm. why he's always been denied victory. He needs to. Seriously. He, he should remember what he did to other people in 2000 and. 2003. Mm. They should go and ask Mohamed Lawal of uh, Kwara. They should ask uh, Abu Bakar Audu of Kogi. They should ask Abu Bakar Hashidu of Gombe. Mm. They should ask the person who contested with Senator Jibril Aminu. He did certain things that is hunting him. This is why when you are doing certain things, be careful. It may, you may have to pay yourself or your children or grandchildren may pay. You know, Astaghfirullah, God does not wait now for us to go to heaven before they judge you. So, me, you know, that is why I, 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 I don't want, I, 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 I don't contest the election, not because I can't win or I'm not popular. I am the most popular. All political office, I mean, party offices that I held, I won by popular vote and almost 90% out of 10 candidates whenever I contest. But I can't contest general election because in Nigeria, they can bribe your father to vote against you. I'm sure nobody likes uh, you more than your father or your mom. <laughs> so people now can take spaghetti and indomie to vote. So they are, they are now eating their spaghetti. They will eat their spaghetti for four or eight years that they collected. So, that was how the issue of PDP came in. I was never a member of the PDP. The PDP. Mm, that's fair. And I, I kept on correcting this. You pressmen and journalists kept on... Putting uh, it on you? Yes. <laughs> no, I'm glad you're able to correct it here. No, I the, 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 tomorrow somebody will come and ask, ask you the, the same question. But you were a member of the CPC, one of the... And you were a founding member of the APC. Yes. I was number four signatory. Of the six signatories that... Nine. Of the nine signatories that, that create the APC. APC yes. You are the number four. Yes. So you're a significant, significant name in, you know, in Nigerian political space um, and in Nigerian political history, especially in the, in the Fourth Republic. Please. But you live a very quiet life. I'm not... You say I'm quiet? Huh? Well, you're not quiet in the news, but I mean, you live a... A very humble life. Like when I first met you, you described it as being something um, that um, the Sardana of Sokoto, Sardana of Sokoto was like, that were very humble, no big houses, that you do it because of religion. Am I correct in saying that? Well, well, well and thank you for the, uh, for the accolades. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's your judgment. Yes. But I would want to say mm. that one doesn't need to show off. Mm. Let other people 
tell you that you are this. You don't need to say it. Mm. Let your actions, deeds, and demeanor make people acknowledge you as a leader. I am a leader. I consider myself president. You know why? No. It's because the people believe that I am an honest person. That I am a leader to be associated with. Even those that do not come to me because they are looking for something from governments. In, 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 a, in a subtle way, whenever I see them, try to confide in me that don't blame us for not coming. So don't worry. The humility is the art of good living. You know, do you think, like, because I feel like this is how um, your best friend, Buhari, also presented himself. And said that this is also why he was going to curb corruption because he was honest and he was humble and he only, you know, you know that is why I like the Tinubu government. Why? From the campaign. Yes. Up to now. Have you ever had anybody in the Tinubu camp that talked about fighting corruption? They are honest. <laughs> <laughs> you may not like it. Oh, you had any of them? Who? Mm. Eh? Not that I can recall. Aha! They never pretended they are going to fight corruption. They even they never pretended they are going to be Democrats. That's why some of them are thinking of taking over uh, states from, uh, from, uh, from those that, that won. Mm -hmm. They never pretended. So, you know... You cannot read the man's mind from the construction of his face. But me, I did on Buhari. And I have a witness, witnesses. First witness is Sulehama, our leader, the director general of the Buhari organization. From 2002 to 2015, I kept on telling him to be careful. Because this man, this is what he will do. Go and interview him. He will confirm this. Mm. But he kept on, he's the most intelligent human being that I had worked with in my life. Sule Yahya Hama. He was the secretary to government of Kano State from 1979 to 83. How old were you? I was not existent. <laughs> Was he was a butcher's political advisor mm. and he held several positions in life. Very intelligent man. And assuming. Whenever Buhari commits a blunder, I come to him and say, Sir, look at this man. How how look at what he did. I complain. I complain. Then he will calm me down. And this is where my weakness also came. He calms me down. Buba, I say, yes, sir. Look, in our culture, when the king commits an offense, those people around him mm -hmm. take the blame. Such that if the king survives, even though they fall, he yeah. will now raise them up. So we should continue to take Buhari's inadequacies and shoulder them for him. We know that he doesn't have at all, nothing. <laughs> that is one. Two, <sighs> Buba, why are you shouting? Leave him. After all, when he forms government, mm. we are going to run the government. Who does he have to run the government? I said, no, 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 no. He said, no, no, no. How? I said, no, this man is just waiting to get rid of us. Sule Hamad didn't believe me. But he kept on because he's very... The way he, the way he will explain any situation, mm. you can't believe it. 
it doesn't matter how intelligent you are, you must be carried away. So, the day Buhari became, was announced president, he came to the national headquarters of the AN, ANPP to do his uh, acceptance speech to Nigerians. We were in the front row. I was number one, Silahama was number two, and others lined up like this. So when he finished, he came to us. He came to us and started greeting me. He gave me a hand like this, took, took off his head, and called me Buba. He gave his hand to Sule, took off his head. I was watching him because I'm very observant. He shook him and said, Sule. So when we left at about after 5 a.m., everybody drove to Buhari's house. Sule Hama wanted us to drive there. I said, no. He said, why? I said, no, sir. Didn't you see that we are, we are, we are out? He said, why, how can you, why should you say that? I said, yes. Now, how does, what the, what, for the last 13 years that we've been in trenches with Buhari, what's the name he called me with? He said, he calls me engineer. Mm. Today, he called me by my first name, Buba. What, how does he call you? It now dawned on him that Buhari always calls him Dokaji. It's a title given to him by the Sultan of Sokoto. Mm. Today, he called you Sule. Mm. He has stripped us of all those titles we have. That means we are out. He didn't believe me. Are we not out? Why, why are we not out? Mm. And this is not even because of me. The board of trustees of the APC never sat since 2015 up to, up to date. They never sat? They never sat. Board, board of trustees of the APC. Why? You should ask me now. Because of me. Why? I, I don't, you have to explain that. Because Buhari didn't like my face. Didn't like my guts. We went one day for a meeting of caucus of the APC, mm. of which I was a, a statutory member by my position as a signatory to the formation of the party. And he saw me. He was so upset. The moment he saw me, he changed the face. So, everybody, they are sitting on a high table. So, those of us, uh, I don't know, common people sitting on the hall like this. So, everybody, we lined up to come and greet him, President. When it came to my turn, he, he gave me a hand and he did like this. And I passed. I came and reported to my boss, Sulehama. He wasn't a signatory. Reported to Tony Momo. Then, we came for another meeting. There, he saw me again. He caused a committee to be set up under the, pres the present president. Under Tinubu. Under Tinubu. And with the directives that that part of the constitution, which authorizes the signatories to the party, to the formation of the APC, should be expanded from the constitution such that he doesn't see me anymore. As I speak to you, Tinbo has never submitted that report. So he's still my friend, right? Who? Buhari or Tinubu? Uh, 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 Buhari. Oh, you're still your friend. It's okay, since you say so. Nah, I'm a... <laughs> when I'm going to see him, yes, because we intend to go and greet him. In Dara. And, and, yes, and tell him, sir, we thank God for bringing you out of that hell mm. alive. I want to go and tell him. We know that when we go there, he will not allow us. So we'll carry you to report. From there, I will speak. <laughs> That's a very, I mean, so would you say there are no friends in politics? Interest. There are only interests. 
I hear that a lot from mm. politicians and people in our political system. But unfortunately, some people don't even know their interest. Mm. You know, to even define your interest and live by it needs an ingenuity. Mm. I don't think Buhari knew his interest. That is why when he was coming, every Nigeria was clapping that Nigeria is going to be an El Dorado. Mm. When he was going, everybody was clapping that thank God he's leaving us in one piece, except for those who passed away during his time. Everybody was clapping that Buhari was going. Now, you know my problem now? I will be most disappointed if there is any government that will come after Buhari and Nigerians start saying it is better Buhari. <laughs> because of the kind of things I said about Buhari, yes. I will not be able to walk on the streets of Nigeria if they compare and say Buhari is better. That's because, my problem. Because you don't think there can be a government worse. What, that's what I said before. You don't think there can be a government worse than Buhari's government? Yes, that's what I said publicly. Mm. Mm -hmm. So if one becomes worse than him, may God save my soul. Don't Buhari doesn't see. think at all. What do you mean? I don't want to say much, but <laughs> what do you mean? If he you... thinks, mm. he wouldn't have given a blanket paper and signed his signature and give error for it when the party sat down and decided on who should be members of the, inter inter uh, uh, the interim uh, APC National Executive Committee, which was agreed by us. Mm. He signed uh, error for it. You know, all things, you know, I told you on Atiku that. The, the people have been, have been hunted by their own shadow and their past. Mm. These things that happened to Erofai, he has not seen anything from what he did to other people, but biting them. And there are still people like Erofai, people like Ganduje. Tinubu doesn't understand. He will soon understand. <laughs> the tiger doesn't change his stripes. Well, it's okay, but... but uh, when you put your hand inside fire, you go, no. What about Ganduje's fire? Hmm? What about Ganduje's fire? Ganduje? Yes. And, uh, yeah, you know, what, what has he done? It's okay. You will see his handwriting very soon. I'm sure you guys, I'm sure you have a relationship because you have a relationship with Kwankoso and Ganduje and Kwankoso. I'm a Kwankoso person. Yeah. And I don't shift the ground. When I follow you, because I'm not following you because of money. Mm. I follow you because of what I think you can do. Mm. Or who you are. And if I promise you I will follow you, go do us part. Mm. So, I've promised to conquer so. I'm going to support him. Even if, even if he does not, he does not have, we, without a counselor, we were together, we fought together. If now, as they are rumoring, they want to take Kano away from him, even if they take, we will continue together. Mm. So Let them take. They don't know that they are only adding to his popularity. So, if... And that's what Ganduja is working on. Mm. He has compromised everybody around the president to create that picture. I learned that even the president is not personally disposed to that, but they want to force it on him. One advice I will give through you to okay. the president. Okay. And he should know this is the wisdom of our ancestors. Mm. That if you are a chief or a king, when everybody claps the same quarra, you are in trouble because they are isolating you. So the best way to move forward is that all those close to you should never have one view, always. Mm. Let them disagree. That is what the Oibo man calls divide and rule. If they are all tagging together, it means there is something they are doing behind you, whether individually they come or they come as a group. And that is what every ruler, president, governor, or chairman should be careful So, Ganduje wants to take Kano back. 
as you say through the back door because there is no there is nothing that they presented in court mm. that can even remove a councillor let alone a governor mm. they went to court and said abba kabir yusuf was not a member of the NNPP. What's their concern? That's a pre-election matter. And the, no other party can question that except a, an NNP, interested NNPP person. And it's pre-election. They went to court and they said there was violence in over 1,296 polling units in Kano. They presented 32 witnesses. And for every polling unit, for you to prove that, you have to present a, 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 what do you call it? You have to present a witness. And all the witnesses, 32 of them that they presented, none of them was uploaded before, before, the, uh, uh, before going to the tribunal, when the tribunal closed uh, accepting petitions. But even if they are proper witnesses, what is the quantum of those 32 witnesses? Less than... 20,000 votes. If you remove it from 128, we still have an edge of over 100,000. Mm -hmm. So, how? And if they now, some people believe that, look, Kwonko uh, 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 So should not be allowed to breathe. Mm. Is it uh, Akwame who said the poor should breathe? Should it's Tinubu that said it. Let the poor breathe. Don't suffer, kids. Let the poor breathe. Don't suffocate them. Talk. <laughs> Why can't they allow us to breathe? <laughs> can't they take lesson? Why do we politicians and people in authority don't understand? 2019, mm. this same Abba Kabir Yusuf won the governorship election in Kano. You don't know? With 28,000 votes. They took it away. They said, once you take it away, Konkoso is finished. Konkoso came with a bank. He won, according to them, with 128,000. Enough to win a governorship election in some states. Without a councillor, without a chairman, without a member of assembly, without a senator, without a governor. Mm. Only our brain. So what stops Konkoso if they take away the governorship from Kano, what out of sympathy? After all, they suppressed our votes over 600,000. If the authorities don't know, I'm, I'm telling them this now. And their own votes of 800,000 is less than 200,000. After all, if they were in government and Congress was able to defeat them like this, how can they go to tell the president that, uh, look, Konkoso didn't win election? Mm -hmm. They were in government, too. We, we had nothing. And with all the money Ganduja stole, if he says he's not a thief, let him allow investigation to go on. Now he's using federal agencies to, to stop his being investigated in Kano. As if nobody... No, no intelligent person in Nigeria can understand what they are doing. Look, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry that I have come to the inevitable conclusion that I may not see the Nigeria of my dream in my lifetime. That's a very, very sad thing. I may not see. That's why I'm keeping quiet. Have you lost hope? Completely. Well, Not because of those that are in power or seize the power, but because of you people. There is nothing under the sun that I have not said before this election. Hmm. Nigerians decided to take Indomie, 200 Naira, and voted for, for, for rocks across the country. So the BBC, Voice of America, Deutsche Welle, Al Jazeera, CNN, 
they had requested to interview me, TRT. I said no. All the things I needed to say, I said to them before the election. Mm. I have nothing new to say. People are hungry. Let them die. It's their fault. Do you know Radia? This thing they put uh, grain and do like this to remove the... Remove the dirt. Uh -huh, chaff. Yeah. Chaff. You know that one? Mm. Anybody that buys that one knows that if you put water, the water will pull down. Will fall down. It cannot sustain the water. Mm. So what is the problem? Yeah, I'm supporting Tinubu 100%. You're supporting Tinubu? 100% mm. to deal with Nigerians. Jeez. People like you. So that when elect next election come, mm. I will now see whether when people bring money, you will vote for them. Or you will do your conscience. I want to say that I think most a lot of people vote their conscience, regardless of if there's money involved or not. Even if I'm talking about my demographic, even young people in Lagos did not vote for Tenbo. They were the closest to him, and he did not win the election there. It's true. I live in Lagos. I don't know anybody who is my age who voted for Tinubu, who's not related to him. Hmm. But I will blame, <laughs> I, what are you laughing? I blame, no, it's true. I don't think, I don't think it's fair to blame us. You hmm. guys have the power, so what, you uh, have uh, the uh, money, uh, they, they you said, have the knowledge. They said, they said, they said power belongs to... Those who take it? Huh? Those who take it? Power belongs to the people. Hmm. So what are you doing? If you coerced and compromised, which means you've supported what had happened. You've supported evil. Supported evil? Yes. Because rigging election is evil. Yeah. This life. For how long are you going to live? You are what age? I'm 30. 30? Yeah. Can you live for 30 times 30? No. Shebi will die one day. Mm -hmm. If you don't die today, you may die one day, even if it's 200 years. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the issue. Look. There will be time to talk. Let them finish. I want to ask because, you know, you said you're not in it for the money, and you're not in it for the power. Hmm? So you're not in politics for the money and you're not in politics for the power. Mm -hmm. So why have you been actively involved in politics since 1978? Justice. I want the justice for my country, for every citizen of my country. Mm. I have about eight children you are aging above, mm. who have read book from one cover to the other, master's degrees, medical doctors, IT experts, and whatnot. None of them could get a job. I live, I rent a two bedroom house for 30 something years. If I needed money, I was director of Delta Steel Company. I was director of Ajakuta Steel Company. I was director general of the then Nimasa. I was project engineer, secretary, schools building committee in Rivers. Over 500 million naira uh, then, which is over 500 million US dollars. I was chairman of Nigerian ranches with the paid up capital of over 500 million US dollars. I was director of two banks. I was director of an insurance company. If it is the money that I had wanted, I could have soiled my hands and I wouldn't be able to look at you straight into the vase and talk to you because I would be afraid of my past. Is there anything more than freedom and rest of mind. If 
people like us. It's shameful that at my age, whether 71 or 75, I'm still in trenches fighting for the good of this country. If you make me minister, for example, or CBM governor, what is it that I will do which I have not done? What is it? Marry young girls like you? Or drink beer or wine? Or take pepe soup? Even the food I eat now, I have to do it with caution. Food. But if my children take drugs and I'm always on the way to rehab uh, centers, or I always keep an eye on them, it's not good for me. That's why we have to fight to, to make sure that the society is cleansed. And there should be justice. Just because you don't have money, you will have no access to good, good, good things of life. Or because you have no parents that are placed in, in strategic position. Mm. Don't you think that this can breed revolution? Do you know the kind of revolution that is taking place in West Africa, Guinea, Mali, Burkina, Niger? Except for the coup in Niger, could you have known that the French take, 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 take uh, uranium from, 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 from France, I mean from yeah. Niger, and almost for free? And that if they are paid the exact amount th that they sell that uranium in the world market, mm -hmm. Niger would have been at Dubai. Our eyes open by day. And we speak because we had experience, we know. So we tell you, if we don't tell you the history of this country, what are you going to fall back on when we are not more here? And we will not be here one day. Very soon, maybe. What do you feel particularly sad about the, you know, drug usage in the north and the insecurity that's going on in northern um, northern Nigeria right now, especially under Buhari? There seems to be a deterioration. The truth of the matter is that nobody wants to tackle the insecurity. So let's leave it. I wrote a paper I can bring you. Mm. 2011. Mm. Delivered a lecture at NIPS, Nigerian Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies. NIPS, JOS, delivered a lecture. There were over 50 retired and serving generals. There were over 50 police commissioners retired and serving and above. There were intellectuals. I received a standing ovation. And everything I have said in that paper has come to pass. Let me tell you, if I look at you straight into the eye and say, look, if you are not careful, so, so, so will happen to you. Just pray to God very <laughs> that it does not. <laughs> so the, the truth of the matter is that no government is serious in doing that. Mm. And uh, you see, our clergy are worse than the illiterates. Our clergy. The religious clergy. Yes. They are only after money. And these are people who will tell you that, uh, look, uh, don't vote for Mr. So 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 because he doesn't have money. Is that money that qualifies you to be a good leader? Mm -hmm. Now I don't have money. Can any of those who have money talk to you the way I'm talking? Is there anything you can say that can give hope or motivation to the younger ones? Not necessarily about revolution, no, but about how we engage the political system. Should we join political parties? Should we start our own? Should we, you know, do we need funding? Like, what, what can young people do? Because I feel that we can't all just jackpot. We can't all run away. Well, I told you that uh, I joined the politics under 30. Mm. And by 1979, I was 27. I was nominated as minister from my state. So, uh, but we have a difference. When I was in school, then, I was also assisting my parents. 
when my parents passed away, I started assisting myself. Now I have children. My children expect me to still look after them instead of them looking after me. That is how the society has degenerated. If you want to, if you want to make an impact, you shouldn't be in a hurry to make money or to be in power. Just with a, like a flash of lightning. You have to, you have to work hard for it. Mm. Such that in trying to work hard for it, you can gather experience. You will know the pitfalls. You will know the plus and minuses of situation. You children of nowadays don't have that patience. And it is that patience that is needed to catapult you to whatever position you want to be. Yeah. But I see. Forming a party on your own and starting from your own level mm. doesn't assist you. You have to join existing political parties and you learn on the job. That does not stop you from aspiring to the highest position in the land or the political party can provide. But do you feel like these places are so rotten that if you go there, instead of you being good in the system, the system will make you worse? No. You that, that, is, so. that means you didn't come with the, uh, with the principles. Mm. If you have your principles, which you have nurtured and concretized, it doesn't matter where you enter. It will not change you like me. Anybody that knew me when I was monitor in 1959 in primary school and when I was monitor 1966 in secondary school, when I was chairman of the Basic Studies Students Union and chairman of Ixa Hall in ABU, knew that Buba Galadima has not changed all these years. I've not changed. My yes is yes. My no, even at the point of death, is no. The military knew that. The SSS knew that. The police knew that. So you, 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 you have to have certain principles. If you are dying, die for a cause. Mm. Can I ask, um, you know... Do you have regrets of being part of the Arbacha administration? Uh -uh. I had several answered this question. Mm. For me, Abacha was the best president that Nigeria ever had because he held this country like this. And Abacha, mm -mm. I will tell you, this secretariat, your federal secretariat, who built it? National Assembly. Who built it? Who completed the villa? So he did well with infrastructure projects. Infrastructure. Throughout Abacha's four years plus, the dollar was at 84 naira. How much was four? It never changed. You can plan for your business. Who among all these leaders can beat his chest to say he kept the dollar at a certain amount of money without changing for six months? But at that point in time, you know, the dollar should have gone down with our oil sales. So keeping it, keeping it the same is only an achievement because of what has come afterwards. Do you know that he was under sanction? Yeah. Do you know that the oil... Was, was being sold for $15 under a butcher. You forgot? I didn't forget he was under sanction. Maybe, maybe you are too young to know. Mm. Yes. And he was under sanction. Nobody is taking our, 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 our oil. They were still taking the oil. No. Maybe stealing. They and you can't attempt to steal during a butcher. There was sanity in the country. Can they take away... Can they take your... You are you are you are handbag on the street during a bacha. 
Yes. Abacha? Yes. Well, you didn't know, please. You said you are 30. Yes. When was I, when did Abacha like when did he become a president? 93. Eh? 93. From 93 to date, how many years? 30. 30 what? 30 exactly. Huh? 30 exactly. 30? Exactly. Which means you are just born. And you are you just you are just born, you knew what was happening. No, I Thank right. you. <laughs> okay, let let me ask you like a specific question. Franco Menka, mm -hmm. the torturous dungeon who you were in, mm -hmm. he came up under Al Mustafa. Mm -hmm. That's part of the Abacha regime. Yes. So the people who were empowered later became your torturers. Let me tell you something you may not you may not you may not understand. Okay. You see, it's your intention that drives what you do. Mm. Abacha had a vision for this country, integrate this country formed a constitution where nobody uh, promulgated, wanted to promulgate a constitution where no section will feel oppressed, suppressed. Mm. That was a butcher. This is why he, he adopted a modified French system that you have a head of government, you have a prime minister, such that in, 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 at every point in time, when, 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 when the president comes from the north, for example, mm. the prime minister comes from the south, the prime minister manages the government by law. By law. And the president only manages the, 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 the currency, the defense, and the economy. That's power sharing. Mm. That was his thinking. I may, not disagree, I may not agree with him, but he has his vision. Mm. Which of the presidents has any vision? No, I ask you, tell me. I don't want to do comparatives. You can't compare because you didn't know Abacha's regime. You are told. No, I studied it. Like I studied Ooh, You studied regimes. it from the point of view of his enemies. Not just of his enemies. Uh, I think... Did I mean, you study you know, it from his... my point of view? Huh? Did you study it from my point of view? I also studied it from the point of view... Ah, did you study it from my point of view that support him? No. But you are an Abacha appointee. Yes. Ah. You were DG. The Sardona of Sokoto said something. Okay. Before, before you were born. Okay. When he established the new Nigerian newspaper mm. and the radio, radio television Kaduna, he said he has to establish his own trumpet so that they blow it, he blows his own. Because the other people are too busy blowing the, 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 their own mm. such that they will have no time to say what he's doing. So, for you to now get anything about Abacha, you have to go to Abacha people who believe in him. Or, in the alternative, bring those who are writing against Abacha and bring me and pair us on a television debate and let them say what they had done better than Abacha. And I will tell them why Abacha is better than each and every one of them. The mere fact that he stepped on toes does not mean that he was a bad man i i think like human rights abuses is not the same as stepping on toes but abacha, did abacha tell you that he was voted in by you huh? did he tell you that he was voted by you what do you mean voted into power by you no who voted him he took power by force and maintained it baron of the gun yes so he did he never pretended that he was a democrat this pro, these people who are pretending to be Democrats are worse than Abacha. Abacha didn't take anybody's uh, election. But he did take lives and liberty. I uh, think who, that's of who? Too. Of who? Tell me now. No accusation. Tell me. Okay. We can talk about the ones that were... No, 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 no. Now, Oputa, now we, are, now we, are, we, are getting, we are getting closer to the facts. Okay. Whose life? Oputa panel. Attempt on Alex Ibru, Pa Abraham Adesoya, Kuriata Biola, liberty of even someone like Bayo Oshinawa, who's not well known who, but spoke who, at the who, panel. This he was accused or he was it was confirmed that he did it. Well, it was an accusation because he lost his life. So you have no you have no you have no point now since it's an accusation. Okay. 
you have to you have to, you must have tried him even in absentia mm. to establish that mm -hmm. because these are his enemies that's why i'm telling you that you are you had from the other side of the coin mm -hmm. you didn't ask the other side i'm asking the other side now so i'm telling you the other side that is okay. no okay if they have any evidence we need it abacha can be tried posthumously mm -hmm. and how about the abacha loots you know i had spoken about this several mm -hmm. abacha didn't loot any penny maybe you are too young to understand he was storing the money huh? he was storing the money abroad <laughs> Why don't we go full hog to probe all governments, including Abacha's own? Those who call Abacha thief, they are worse thieves. I don't mind. And uh, let me tell you why Abacha. You know, I was a member of that government, mm -hmm. not sitting in government as minister, but I was part of that government. Yes. And I knew how much I left in the coffers of the NMA, uh, NMA mm -hmm. which was wiped out in two months. To Stolen. Abba. I'm not calling names. Okay. Wiped out in two months. And I want to ask you, mm -hmm. do you know what is sanction? Mm -hmm. huh? yes. What is it? What do you understand by sanction? I understand that because Nigeria was not a democracy, the West and international community put sanctions on Nigeria, trading with Nigeria, doing business with Nigeria, buying Nigerian oil, or even in terms of sending donations to Nigeria. So the sanction essentially means that there's a reduction in inflow of money into Nigeria, right? So it's okay. You don't even understand what it is. Let okay. me tell you what it is. Okay. Sanction is stopping people from getting what they need for their daily life. That is what the Tinubu government had done against Niger. Mm -hmm. You didn't know that that is only on paper. As I speak to you, I know some people that are Nigerians who are carrying food and everything to Niger. Mm -hmm. He can't stop it. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. You mean that towns that are divided by just a street, the other side of Nigeria cannot eat food or cannot sell commodities. They will pass it to their brothers or in-laws across the board, across the other side. Mm -hmm. So we are just fooling ourselves. Let me explain to you the so-called abacha loot. Okay. Abacha was appropriately advised by Saddam Hussein because he was a veteran of sanctions by the West. Mm. Plus Gaddafi, they told him that whatever you will do, since they are putting sanctions on you, establish Domi companies across the world, not linked to you. And Gather as much money as you can that can last your country's import for at least six months. And those are the monies that were deposited into certain accounts. Every country of the world, including the U.S., does it. If they want to do a clandestine uh, 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 activity in Nigeria, they don't bring money through the bank. They have, they have some established contacts that can give money here and take there. Mm -hmm. That is what had happened. And that time, they could not trace those, those fun, funds that Nigeria was using to survive and to maintain our currency at 84 naira per dollar. And people, because they hate Abacha, they say Abacha loot. Let anybody come and debate with me. And those countries did not like Abacha because they stood against him. That is why they are fighting the Nigerian military. So, for example, like the money that was kept in Liechtenstein and Luxembourg, 
350 was it million, in Abacha's name? 250 million. Did, was it in Abacha's name? I mean, Mohammed Abacha no. fought for... No, nothing in Mohammed Abacha's name. No account was traced to Abacha's family. Mohammed, he put the account Never. under... Ma oh. Never. He petitioned the court for them to not release the money, claiming ownership to the funds. Never. <laughs> Do you know Babudu? I do know Bakudu, yes. You know him, huh? Yes. When you finish interview, me go and interview him. He will tell you better. He He's your number. minister. Yeah. He's yeah. an Abacha man. Yes. Can Monet he deny Abacha? No, he can't. So and you are so he's so good that you make him minister of budget and planning. Mm hmm Thank you. Uh, no, I don't agree. <laughs> I didn't agree that I was. Did you write a petition to the Senate not to confirm him? Huh? Because he was an Abacha man. Did, Did I write, write a to petition? the Senate not to confirm him? They weren't asking them any questions. I didn't think there was a point. So you agreed? No. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I actually agree with you, yes. If I'm not active, then I am... Um, yeah, passive agreement. You know, in my culture, mm. when somebody is dating a young girl, mm -hmm. and uh, you as parent want to find out her consent, you sit her down and ask her whether she loves that man. If she doesn't speak, that is consent. Really? It's okay. Maybe you ask my friends here. My Maybe own culture, culture is different. My own culture is different. You don't need to speak. If she doesn't like, she will say no. But if she keeps quiet, the father will go ahead to consummate that marriage. Hmm. So, so this government, mm -hmm. for example, this Tinubu government, is also an Abacha government. I see that now. Yes. Is it not? Apart from Bakutu. How many ministers? Apart from Bakutu, who else? <laughs> Go and do your research. You are a journalist. The Tinubu government is an Abacha government. I, I don't know. I say uh, I say so is an Abacha government. <laughs> if they are, if they can accept Abacha people, mm. it means they share something in common. And they they need to really they need to get Abacha people who, because how Abacha maintain the peace. What? It's a it's a big school for studies. Well, I'm going to talk next to Abacha's former chief security officer. El Mustafa. Yes. Ask him whether he knows the Bogala Juma. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, for sitting with me. I think I've taken up a lot of your time. Thank you so much. And thank you to everyone for watching.